Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today we've got another Wednesday dry dock update for you. This one's gonna be shorter. We've explained all the projects that we've been doing. And this last week, we just wrapped them up preparatory to fleeting at the end of this week. Uh, you were, if you're watching this live on Wednesday the 29th of May, 2024, uh, then starting tomorrow, Thursday the 30th, we're gonna start to flood the dry dock again. So behind me, you can see some last minute work going on as the riggers and the uh, laborers begin to remove all the remaining stuff from the dry dock and, and crane it out of here. If all goes according to plan, on Friday the 31st, we will complete refloating the ship, move her four feet forward, and then drop her back down on the blocks. Because of how many moving parts there will be up on the wing walls, we do not encourage people to come out and watch. We will be filming the procedure. Uh, if you come out and you're outside of Philadelphia Ship Repair's property, outside of the fence, you can watch. Uh, but with all the work going on inside the fence, we're not gonna be bringing people in uh, to watch this event. Honestly, it's, it's watching grass grow. The water comes up. The ship moves forward and then the water very slowly goes back down. We're gonna try and get a time lapse of it, but because it has to take place over two days, it's such a long process, we may or may not be successful. The weather also uh, plays a factor in that. Hopefully this time of year, we won't end up capturing four hours of goose butt again. So uh, expect us to talk more about this in a video next week where we uh, talk about how that part of the project went. Some of the things that we finished up this week, there was some last minute touch up painting. There were some areas where we were still doing work, still doing uh, welded repairs on issues we had found that then needed their system of coatings. Um, so th things like that that we finished up. Uh, we continued the caulking process. So that got wrapped up. Both the paint and the caulk have a uh, seven day cure time before they're good to be immersed in water. So most of that happened at the end of last week. A few small areas happened this week. Another project that we finished this week was the fiberglassing around where the propellers meet the propeller hubs. Uh, that's gonna, just gonna buy us some more time in keeping that free flooding area watertight. Uh, fiberglass and steel, it won't last forever. Hopefully the, uh, the paint over top of it, epoxies do tend to bond really well to epoxies. So that, that'll buy us some time. Uh, if we can buy ourselves 20 years and then there's only 10 years of water sitting inside the ship in these spaces, uh, I'm, I'm happy with that. We've also done some inspections of the hull. We, we did the complete walkthrough. I'm amazed I can stand up straight right now after doing that. Uh, I, I can definitely feel it in my lower back muscles, uh, but we went through and we inspected, is there caulk on all the riveted seams? There's three nautical miles or 18,000 linear feet of it. Are all of the through hauls actually inspected? Do they have our plugs in there and welded? I, we did find one that wasn't fully welded and that's been repaired now. Um, what objects in the dry dock do we want to save? For example, the bolts that have been removed from the access plates back here in the Holland Tunnel versus what stuff just gets trashed. Uh, so we've worked with the riggers, the laborers, everybody else down here to be like, this pile goes onto the ship, this pile goes out to the dumpster. A lot of people can't tell the difference between the two piles, but uh, you know we're curators, we hoard things. The, having examples of what was on the ship is gonna be great for our research purposes going forward. Two or three curators down the line from me when the ship is next being dry docked, and they're like, oh, what, what type of bolts are we gonna find down there? Oh, hey, there's, there's one in the collection. I just have to Google it in our past perfect system. We've also gotten to entertain some guests this week. Uh, we had some VIPs. Uh, you might have seen that we filmed a video with Drakenefell on board. He also uh, filmed some stuff that's gonna be on his channel. And we also had Dr. Scholes come down from his home in Connecticut. He volunteers on Salem and Battleship Cove, both museums you can visit in Massachusetts, and is the uh, foremost expert on analog fire control systems. And so he and uh, Drak did some filming on our computers that you'll get to see in uh, an upcoming video on Drax's channel. And this was a great week to entertain them 
because you know a lot of the the heavy work is already done. We don't have nearly as many call outs to go and uh, inspect. We we don't have quite as much going on. The tours are running like clockwork. The stuff that you've got to look forward to next week, obviously, fleeting the ship, and then we're going to start the process of uh, painting the 10% of the underwater hall, roughly 12,000 square feet that were covered by the keel blocks and are now free. We expect this process to take about a week to blast and put three coats of paint on them. And then we're going to take another week to let that set. So sometime in mid-June, we'll be refloating the vessel. Based on how fleeting goes, we'll get a really good idea of what our timeline is going to be after that. And there will be many, many public announcements on the schedule from there on out. So be sure to stay tuned here on YouTube and our other social medias. Apologies for the, uh, the kind of mundane and boring update video this week. Remember to get your tickets to get a tour in the next two weeks. There will not be another chance for 30 years. The link to that is in the description down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to donate to support the final stages of our dry docking project and the projects we have lined up after this, such as painting the ship's free board later this summer. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about the museum and our channel. Thanks for watching.